Star Line Now. Justin back with another midday edition of A Star Line Now. It is Monday of midweek, guys. I'm so excited. And today, so that we have time to get ready for midday, I want to talk about mint strategy. Now, there's a couple things that are going to be the biggest wins. Now, remember, no matter what you mint on mint day, you're going to get an amazing addition to your collection. You are going to get a piece of art. You're going to get a phenomenal collectible that will give you access to all things. Let's not forget, you will get access to all things Paradise Island, all things Paradise City. All of that is on the table, no matter what you meant. But there, of course, are some crown jewels that you can pick up along the way. And so we're going to talk about all those. That, Namely, picking up a one-on-one, making sure that you're able to achieve pairing so that you can share in the royalties. And then of course, the blue chip raffle that we have going on all throughout Mint Day. And so there's a couple principles and right off the bat, don't give me a hard time and tell me that these are just all obvious. This is my Mint strategy. This is not financial advice, but it's what I think, what I'm planning on doing and what I think you should do if you wanna pick up those pairings. Let's talk about pairing. So there's a few different ways that you can pair and probably the most common way will be to have your numbers line up in your Gen 1 apes and your Gen 2 apes. Those are those unique numbers, one to 3,300 lining up perfectly. And then you will open up a ticket and you will be sharing in the royalties. But to do that, it helps to have a really big bag of Gen 1 apes. The first thing, that I think you should do is plan on sweeping as many Gen 1 apes from the floor as possible. It just makes sense, right? The more Gen 1 apes that you hold, the higher the probability each time you mint that you'll have one of the apes you're searching for. It also gives you that ammo to be able to facilitate a trade with somebody else. So it goes without saying that the more Gen 1 apes you have, the higher probability you do of minting one you actually have. But also what's important is to realize that the more Gen 1 apes and the more apes that you mint, you will be able to barter with other people. And so to make that as safe as possible, we will have a space within Discord all set up for you to go on and exchange with uh, your brothers and sisters in this community. So the first part of my strategy, pretty simple, right? Pick up as many Gen 1 apes as you possibly can. You might as well whale out. Why not whale out? The next thing that I would recommend is have a lot of friends, have a lot of allies that you are working on because here's the way that it's gonna work out, right? You're gonna mint and then we're not gonna see the art for a couple of days. You'll see the number that you have, but you won't see the art. So you won't become emotionally attached as we have with Gen 1. There are some Gen 1s, actually all of my Gen 1s, I would not part with. But when you haven't seen them yet, it's just the number you're gonna wanna work with your partner. So I have friends that I've lined up if I get theirs, I'm gonna give it to them and vice versa, we'll swap, we'll trade, but you're gonna need a lot to work with. So make sure you mint as many as possible. Now, there's gonna be a flurry of activity as people are working together. So let's talk about minting those coveted one of ones. They're gorgeous, we're so excited. I really, really feel like I'm gonna get one this time, but let's talk about it. It has been published where they are. They are all throughout the mint, but you're gonna find that if you mint at the beginning, there's a total of 80 available and there are two available within the first 50, four total available within the first 200. So my first suggestion is mint early. Then as we look through the list, we're gonna see they're scattered all throughout and there is a ton of them at the end. I know this is gonna be one of those things where it's like, duh, Captain Obvious, like we should know to do that. But the fact of the matter is this, mint early and mint often to have the best chance. And that advice also goes to the last thing that we're gonna talk about, the blue chip raffle. And before we talk about the strategy with winning the blue chip raffle, let's just talk about the amazing projects. I'm so proud to say that I'm a holder of almost every project except, of course, the other deed and the mutant ape, but who knows? In a couple days, I might have those as part of the collection as well. Uh, but it starts with where it all started, our Gen 1, our amazing Titanic art. Uh, there, there, there's not enough that can be said about this project. And then add to that Apes Together Strong. This is a community that is all about seeing all eight projects to see. You might've been on their ATS. We were on it just yesterday, but you might have seen their ATS spaces that they do every Sunday with tons and tons of community. They have been a project that has been all about helping other projects get the word out about what they're working on. 
Japanese born ape society apes. This is a Japanese themed collection. It's in the Pacific. We're in the Pacific. It makes a lot of sense that we would partner and have a lot in common with this project. We have whitelist opportunities as they are one of our collab partners for their upcoming project. And they of course are sharing our whitelist with their community as well. Cubex, of course, a powerhouse in the e-space and also a social media platform for the NFT space. And then Bape's Clan Genesis One, which stake it, forget about it. What they're doing there, you're gonna wanna keep this one in your portfolio for a long time. Finally, the last two come from the Yuga fam. Of course, we're talking about Other Deed from Other Side and of course, the Mutant Ape Yacht Club. These would be huge to add to your portfolio. And it just goes to say we want to see this be an unbelievable experience from top to bottom for you. It is so much fun. There's so much excitement and energy that comes from Mint Day. So make sure that you're whitelisted and a part of the pre-sale. But let's talk about this raffle as it pertains to strategy. We have announced not only what you can win, but we've also announced where you're gonna get raffle entries. So let's review that right now. As I said earlier, Mint early and Mint often. Early is the key to this as your first one to 500, if you mint within that number, you are going to pick up five entries to the raffle. And remember, this is the space that you mint, not the number that you get on your NFT. It's also, if you mint from 500 to 1,000, you're gonna get three entries per mint. Uh, two for the 1,000 to 1,500 spot. 1,500 to 2,000 will win you another three. 2,000 to 2,500 is another two entries. And then the last 800, the home stretch, you're gonna get three entries for each. So what is my strategy? What am I gonna do if I'm putting all of this together? The first and foremost is this, have as many Gen 1s as you can. Number two, mint early and mint often with our Gen 2 apes. Have a bunch of friends. Make sure that you can swap back and forth. This is gonna bring our community together, which gets me so excited. And then as it pertains to the blue chip, I hope that you're lucky. I hope you win. I also hope that I win. I would be absolutely amazed to get any of the amazing blue chip products that we listed. But if you want them, make sure that you mint early to get the five raffle points and then make sure you're minting all throughout to have a greater and greater chance. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be back with you again tomorrow. We're gonna to talk a little bit more about safety and some of the things to watch out for as we're getting closer and closer to mint day. But I hope you have a great day. As always, be blessed and keep it first class.